This week we have a couple bills potentially coming to the House floor dealing with foreign policy. One will be the DOD budget, which is over $700 billion. And then there's going to be a bill for the supplemental, which is the war budget. Uh, the previous administration always brought uh, all the supplemental war budgets up as emergency, and uh, they were highly criticized for it. But we're still continuing that process. I have no idea how much that's going to be, and there'll probably be a lot of pork stuck in, in it as well. So that'll be very controversial. But obviously, if you don't support uh, these wars in the Middle East and uh, the potential of spreading these wars, uh, uh, it's not a very good expenditure. Matter of fact, the $707 billion so-called defense budget uh, is not a very good investment as well from my viewpoint. Uh, $700 billion is uh, support for the military industrial complex is what I call it. There's a distinction, there should be a distinction made between uh, defense spending as well as uh, military spending. So just because we put it in the DOD, uh, it's uh, military for sure, but it's not necessarily going to help us in defense. You know, with all these sums uh, added up, uh, what well, we spend, uh, it's well over a trillion dollars a year in so-called making us uh, uh, safe. And uh, it looks like it's never ending. Uh, today, uh, we, we uh, are, are dealing with uh, the crisis that has been brewing over in Korea. And uh, that is uh, certainly a dangerous spot, but uh, for us to be in the middle of that doesn't make any sense to me. For, to jeopardize uh, American troops uh, uh, in, in a situation like that, it just seems like we're going on, out of our way to look for trouble. At the same time, we have two wars going on, one in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. There's so many shortcomings with that, as, as well as the provocations with the Iranians uh, looking for sanctions. The uh, Iranians right now have agreed to accept the proposal made by Brazil and Turkey to do exactly what our government asked them to do a few months ago, and, um, and, and our government now doesn't want to deal with it. I mean, they're willing to uh, t turn their uh, nu uh, nuclear refinement over and let Turkey take care of this. So I, I just don't know what the purpose of, of, of this is. Instead, we have five aircraft carriers supposedly in the Persian Gulf and in the area around uh, Iran. And uh, it, it, it doesn't uh, make a lot, a lot of sense. But the, the money is going to run out, and that to me is, the, is uh, probably the end point for this because uh, uh, empires tend to come to an end for financial reasons. And even though we are not uh, suffering quite like Spain, our, conditions, our condition is not any better than Spain and Europe. Europe's in turmoil with these uh, financial problems. And uh, some, someday, uh, this whole crisis, the financial crisis, will limit uh, what we do, not only overseas, uh, internationally in this war spending, as well as the domestic spending. So this week, I'm not sure, uh, I'm, I'm uh, making this little report uh, on Tuesday, and maybe by the end of the week we'll have one or both of those bills to the floor. But since there's no money in the bank, it's all going to be debt, it's all going to be borrowed, it's all going to be printing press money, whatever, but it will not be a good investment because, quite frankly, that type of spending will not make us safer. I am convinced the foreign policy that we've been following for so many years makes us less safe, not more safe. So until that day comes when we can look at our foreign policy and decide that a non-interventionist foreign policy is better than one where we decide to be the policeman of the world, to get involved in internal affairs of other nations and get involved in nation building, until we decide that's not a good policy, we're going to continue on this path of bankruptcy and actually a great more danger to the American people. Uh, the founders had it right. We ought to mind our own business and live within our means. Uh, that would be the best road uh, uh, to peace and prosperity for all our citizens.